In this tutorial, we will see the different tools in the wireframe toolbar. How engineers do it. Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It. So share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. Let's invoke the wireframe and surface design workbench. And here is our wireframe toolbar. Firstly, let's see the use of points. To create a point, click on the point and we have different options where we have uh, x, y and z, z coordinate. So we can input x, y and z as 0 and see how the result is. The result will be the point will be created on the origin. Similarly, we can input different values and see the different results where we create the points at the 3D space. We also have options to create points on curve, plane, surfaces, which is based on the particular situation. These kind of options will be used on the situations upcoming when we, when we create or when we work on different exercises. Let's see how we can use a line. To create a line, we need two points. Firstly, click on the line and then we can either select the point that is already created or else we could right click here to create a new point and then create a custom point. So in this case, I created the first point and let's define the second point as the point which we previously created. So in this way, a line has been created. We also have options to extend the line beyond the point which we specified. This is about creation of a line. As I've told you before, that creation of point has different options that is on a curve. For example, this is a curve. Let's find out. Let's go to the curve and click on the curve and then click on the middle point. This creates a point on the midpoint of the curve that we created. It's not, it's not necessary that the curve needs to be a straight line. For example, let's uh, go ahead and uh, try a spline and after we create a spline, I will again explain you the point. So for creating a spline, let's create another point. So that is uh, 150. So we have the third point here. Now let's hide this line. And uh, we have a point here. Let's unhide that. So we have three points here. To create a spline, click on the spline and click on the three points that we have previously created. So we have a spline now. Let's hide the three points that we created. And let's try the point and let's try it on the curve. And let's click on the midpoint. So as I've said before, the point is created at the midpoint of this curve. So it's not necessary that the curve needs to be aligned. It just has to be a curve. And another thing that you need to keep in mind is in Katia, we consider curve as a straight line is also called as a curve. So let's try to create a plane. We have different options to create a plane. We can create a plane by clicking on the any of the reference plane here and then specifying the offset. In this case, I will specify the offset as 50 mm and click on OK. So here we have created the plane. We could also double click on the plane and change the offset later. Now let's see how we can create the circle. To create a circle, click on the circle 
and specify the center. To specify the center, you could specify a center by right-clicking and creating a point or create clicking on the point which is already existing. So in this case, I will do this and we need a support. So for support, if we select this plane, the circle will be offset and created with reference to the inclination of the plane that I've selected here. In this case, I have selected XY as the reference plane. We have options to vary the radius of the circle and we could also select the whole circle so we don't have to specify the start and end angle. So that's about the creation of circle. The two tools remaining in the wireframe tools are projection and intersection which would be explained in the coming tutorials. I hope you enjoyed.